Monitor Audio was set up in 1972 by a gentleman called Mo Iqbal. Mo Iqbal very successfully run it for 25 years. He decided it was time to retire in 1997. It's grown 1,000% since 1997. We've been professionalising it and growing it. The employees have gone from 20 to 80 directly and about 500 gram a world. And we now distribute in 100 countries. Monitor Audio design and manufacture the best audio products there are. A huge amount of time, effort and our own passion is put into designing and manufacturing the, the products that we make. One of our key benefits is that a lot of our designers and a lot of the team within the organisation are musicians themselves. So we have an understanding of what we'd like to be listening to. We have an understanding of how music is, is composed, is performed, which, which gives us great amount of skill set in order to understand the result that we want to achieve the other end. All the really, really great products, be it a Walkman in the 80s or an iPod in the 2000s, people didn't know they needed those before they had them. And, and that's what sort of great design is. And so we'll always take what's ever happening in those trends and make sure our products, our designs, are flexible enough to work with changes in the future. If you look at some of the technologies that are being implemented, a lot of them are actually needing a speaker in order to be able to connect or to, to feed back to consumers. The complexity of the speakers is increasing almost exponentially at the present moment in time. They want Wi-Fi connection, they want Bluetooth, they want streaming. And manufacturers are starting now to incorporate connectivity within items that they are producing and manufacturing. As a manufacturer, we can be looking at how we can design and produce speakers that will give far clearer feedback to, to the consumer in the home. We find it really great for us having a, a large in-house design team. We do almost every nut bolt down to the cabinets, the bigger components to the small components were all developed in-house and we hope that that brings a quality that very few of our rivals can compete with. It's not just industrial design, it's the acoustic design team, it's the software, electronics, even now user experience, because we go that extra mile. We're not, you know, we're not using standard parts. We don't want to compromise any element of the products we make because we're, you know, we're a performance brand. That's, that's what we're about. We want to, to deliver the best performing home audio equipment there is. That's always been our drive. So much of how audio is consumed is different to how it was 10, 20 years ago. It's, it, it's forever changing. It's not necessarily held on a, a record deck, a CD player, or on your phone now. It's being live streamed directly from the web. All of a sudden, we now have this flood and mass of resources and places that we can get our music and we can get our entertainment from. But saying that, there is a backlash. Old-fashioned vinyl is making a huge comeback. So the industry is developing in some ways, but then it's returning to its roots in other ways. After we purchased Roxanne, primary objective was to try and grow Roxanne by launching new ranges. Roxanne is very much like Monitor Audio was when we got involved in 1997. So obviously our aim is to grow it a thousand percent over the next 20 years. The high thigh enthusiasts can buy Roxanne and Monitor Audio and have the whole package. That will allow us to grow both parts of the business. So long as people are listening to music or, or you know, making films, you know, we're always going to be at the forefront of the delivery of that. In the end, Mo Iqbal set up Monitor Audio in 1972 because he had a passion for it. If he walked into this office now in the R&D department, he wouldn't recognise anything. The only thing he would recognise is Annette, who's worked for Monitor Audio for 45 years. But what he would recognise is the passion for sound and the determination to get the best possible sound out of speakers.